Hello and welcome back to the channel. So everybody, the plot thickens. Yes, it does. The plot thickens. This guy on the screen here, he made such a valid point um, about Putin releasing this image, this black Jesus image. It's almost like a nuke, right? What he is saying that this could possibly delegitimize European royalty. Uh, he also talks about the fact that this is like a worldwide upset. Of course, I'm paraphrasing his words, but a worldwide upset. In other words, on an individual le uh, level, it may not matter. But worldwide, this man talks about the fact that we have been lied to. And it kind of reminds me when the scripture says uh, that the Gentiles were going to come uh, during a certain time period and say that our fathers have taught us lies. Anyway, I want you all to take a listen i'm not going to play his clip first but first i want you all to see how uh, many of them are not dealing with this information too good right uh you have someone making light of it uh you have someone uh saying that he's uh, they're, they're dusting off their old black dusty jesus or something like that um, i showed that one already but i wanted to share it again then you have someone else who's just poking fun at it like it's not a big deal you know, uh, another guy, I don't care. He makes it seem like he doesn't care. Anyway, take a look at their nonchalant attitude about things. And then I'm going to share with you this guy's uh, video where he talks about how this whole thing would basically unravel this whole thought process that has been fed to the whole world. He's saying that the world has been lied to if this is true. Anyway, take a listen at these uh, very short clips. And of course, you know, I will be right back. And with this, we release the truth. Uh -uh, that's fan fiction. What are you talking about? Man, it's initial. It's God, so God, God, God. He, he wrote it. But they know if you could get your hands on this information here, you're a town. They know if you could get okay, so you had that guy right there. I just wanted to say something about him real quick. Uh, he wanted to sit there and pretend like it doesn't matter to him. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. And it's very clear by his response that it does matter. Okay, here's the another clip, and then I'll have one more after this, and I'm saving this guy's clip for last. But Putin and dusting off his black Jesus from the Kremlin attic, that is one heck of a thing. Why are we just finding out? Did I think Jesus was blonde and blue-eyed? I didn't really care. I do care about my wig, though. My hair's looking, oh, it's time for a do. But anyway, get back. Mr. Putin... You drew the race card. Now what you going to do with it? You got all these black people excited that you have a picture of a black Jesus. You're saying black. To me, sir, it just looks like a dark Jesus. Because I don't know what kind of paint or colors or whatever they had over there. But they had to have something for black. Was it coal? What was it? Anyway. Mr. Putin, you're sneaky. You're going to nuke us, aren't you? You're just doing something to hurt the whole world before you nuke us all. I don't know. Does it matter what color Jesus is? Is this going to change what, what he does for us after we've been worshiping him? 
I don't worship a picture, never have. I'm not Catholic. Mr. Putin, what do you think you're doing to Joe? Hurting his feelings? No, I did not vote for Joe. Anyway, black people, I'm happy for you. Something ought to make you happy. I mean, come on now. Because y'all been really upset for years, huh? I hope, I hope this helps you, just like when I voted for Obama because I was hoping he would be a great president for the blacks so they could stop being so racist against white people because they think the white people invented slavery when actually it was the black... Anyway, I don't want to go there. But Mr. Putin, you drew out that race card and I want to know why. So, of course, her response was hilarious. I mean, not hilarious in a good way, but really showing that they cannot handle the truth. It was just too much for her to process. And so she threw her little bit of comedy in there. But now I want to share with you what this guy said. He made a very, very valid point how this thing can be a worldwide upset if it is true. And we all know it to be true. He um he brings up the fact that they've been that the whole world has been lied to um, if these images are authentic and he says he wants the truth now a lot of people want the truth and I believe deep down inside a lot of people know the truth but it's just too hard to deal with so they just kind kind of roll with the the falsehoods that have been put out there anyway take a listen at his video clip and of course you know I'll be right back. Have y'all seen this story about Putin unveiling religious icons from the Russian vaults? I don't know if this is an AI fake story or something real, but I'd really like to find out. Supposedly Putin revealed a bunch of religious icons, and these icons depict the Hebrew people as black. Now a lot of people are saying it doesn't matter what color Jesus is, and that may be true on an individual level. But on a global level, that means a lot of people have been lying to us. If Russia has proof of these claims, that would delegitimize the European royalty, along with the royal bloodlines of the Nordic countries like Switzerland, Norway, Wales, as these royal figures claim to be direct descendants from the line of Jesus. It would also call the Vatican's narrative into question. Have they really been whitewashing history as they call it? Or is this just a made up story? I don't think people really care what the truth is at this point, but that's what we want, the truth. And I've really looked into this stuff. There's enough evidence on both sides of the coin to pretty much believe that Jesus was whatever color you want him to be. But if Russia really has some artifacts, some paintings from the 1400s, that would really tip the scale in a certain direction. Okay, so this man's video uh, brought out a whole other layer of information that needs to be considered. Okay, he brings out the fact that if this is true, in which we know it is, then this delegitimizes European royalty. Uh, he talks about all of those who claim to have um, a direct lineage to Jesus, the one who the world calls Jesus. Of course, we don't call him by that name. We call him by his real and true uh, Ivory or Hebrew name. But um, anyway, he says this will delegitimize everything that we have been taught that all of this stuff that they've printed, these movies, uh, these uh, images that have been circulating around the world, um, this would delegitimize all of that. And that's a really interesting point that he made there because um, not just a group of people that he mentioned, but so many people have claimed to have a direct bloodline link back to Jesus. They claim to be linked through his lineage and that they've been able to trace themselves. And it just blows the mind that people can make up such a lie to, to that magnitude. They have no uh, biblical prophecies that could legit, legitimize that, but they are making up stories and passing them around the world. And the world is chewing on it, digesting, digesting it and accepting it hook, hook line and sinker. But this right here, this right here is a whole other layer of information uh, that needs to be considered. Now, we're just talking about iconic images, but these things are more historically correct than anything that's been passed around the world. And I think it has a lot of people nervous. A lot of people want to make light of it. Some want to make fun of it. Some want to disregard it altogether. 
and some want to pretend like it don't matter to them. Well, based on what this man is saying, if you have all of these European bloodlines that claim to be royal bloodlines because they say they are connected or linked back to Jesus, then it does matter because if they are not truly linked historically, then who is the real and true royal bloodline? And who are those people who have claimed to be part of the royal bloodline but are not? See, it's not just those who call themselves ish, you know what I mean? But it's Christians as well. A lot of people have tried to completely whitewash, erase, and cut off the real people of the book by claiming that they are the real people of the book. Throughout Christianity, we've heard many make the claim that they have replaced the Most High's chosen people. Christians, right? They believe that they are the spiritual Israel, right? And that there is no physical left. That's what many Christian evangelicals believe and teach. So this is why all of this stuff does matter. I don't care if you say it one billion times that it doesn't matter. That does not make it so. It does matter. The truth does matter. And like I said, this guy's point that he brought out, this adds a whole other layer to the topic. Okay? This right here just blows it right, wide open even more. The plot thickens, y'all. And so... I think this is definitely worth considering. What he said here is not something to be taken lightly. And I believe that this is why so many, because they know that um, the true heritage of the people of the book has been hijacked by a lot of people. This is why they don't like you digging into the past. Even during slavery, it was illegal. And it was even punishable by death in some cases. If you were caught reading a book, you would be severely punished. Ain't that something? That knowledge got to be so tripped out to where you're willing to do all of that, keeping people from learning how to read, understanding their own history, cutting them off from being a people, whitewashing their identity, trying to get them to assimilate into everybody else's identity in the lands where they have been dispersed. Those got to be some very, very peculiar people for you to go through those measures, those great lengths to try to whitewash and wipe out their history. So anyway, what are your thoughts on what this guy said here? I'm going to share the video one more time because he made some very, very interesting points about those uh, who claim to have royal heritage. He's talking about European royalty might be completely delegitimized. Listen. At have y'all seen the story about Putin unveiling religious icons from the Russian vaults? I don't know if this is an AI fake story or something real, but I'd really like to find out. Supposedly Putin revealed a bunch of religious icons, and these icons depict the Hebrew people as black. Now a lot of people are saying it doesn't matter what color Jesus is, and that may be true on an individual level. But on a global level, that means a lot of people have been lying to us. If Russia has proof of these claims, that would delegitimize the European royalty, along with the royal bloodlines of the Nordic countries like Switzerland, Norway, Wales, as these royal figures claim to be direct descendants from the line of Jesus. It would also call the Vatican's narrative into question. Have they really been whitewashing history, as they call it? Or is this just a made-up story? I don't think people really care what the truth is at this point, but that's what we want, the truth. And I've really looked into this stuff. There's enough evidence on both sides of the coin to pretty much believe that Jesus was whatever color you want him to be. But if Russia really has some artifacts, some paintings from the 1400s, that would really tip the scale in a certain direction. Okay, so that's some interesting stuff. It's definitely worth checking into. That's not the kind of thing that you want to overlook and just 
you know, pushed to the side. The truth is what it is, y'all. Whether we like it or not, the truth is what it is. And the truth will always be. Uh, you have some folk who think if they just refuse to accept it or refuse to believe it, that it will vanish away. But that is not how it works. Everything that happened in the past, from the very first humans that were created on earth until now, it happened. It doesn't matter what you print in your books and what you put on the Hollywood big screen. It doesn't matter. The truth already happened, okay? And so trying to rewrite history, like Oscar Wilde said, the only duty we owe to history is to rewrite it. You can't rewrite what has already taken place. You can lie about something, but you can't rewrite it. Those things happened. Okay, and your pencil to paper does not change the reality of what actually took place. So anyway, share your thoughts on this again. Uh, chop it up in the comment section. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, I want you all to stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.